Happy New Year in Dubai. This is the big fireworks and light show at the skyscraper there in the United Arab Emirates. Back here in Hampton Roads, Waterside District is getting ready for a huge New Year's Eve bash. Yeah, so we sent our Brett Hall to check out the celebration that's getting underway later tonight. Brett, at 4 o'clock it was quiet. 5.30 the music was louder. How is it right now? Well, there's a lot of activity going on around here, and Laura, just for you, I came to a photo section. Actually, it's a little ironic because if anybody follows Laura on Instagram, you know she's not fond of posting photos ever. <laughs> so this would play, probably be a place. I don't even know why we came here because it's not a place she would come to often. But uh, anyway, lots of stuff going on, and it's really quite cool. If I wasn't working, it might be someplace I'd hang out. The whole main section has been closed since 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's the only time of the year that Waterside's open that they close off to the public to prepare. Uh, I was talking to one of the organizers. Six months of planning for six hours of fun. It all starts at 8 o'clock this evening. Look at what they've been doing all day long besides preparing food. They've been putting up and changing the place into Hampton Roads is, this is what they say, best place to ring in 2020. And you know, it is kind of appropriate that they're doing it here because let's go back a decade like everybody's been doing on social media the last few days. Waterside is the last place you think of going on New Year's Eve. It was that mall format kind of becoming vacant. Well, in the 10 years, Norfolk partnered with the Quarters Companies out of Baltimore, and they transformed this place. Now this is the third year they are doing New Year's Eve, and they believe it's going to be the best one yet. I'm honestly really excited for the photos. Like, I mean, I love a good selfie. People love taking their first photo of 2020. We have um, three ice sculptures that are going to be here. So two that are ice luges, um, one for the platinum VIPs to enjoy their champagne in a different way. And then one is just a kind of a marquee of Waterside District. So they get that, they get balloons, sparkly things, props, all the fun stuff. And here is that talked about ice sculpture. It's the facade of Waterside, which I just think is so cool. Um, that wasn't a pun. It's cool and it's also cold. Anyway, so this is going to be something you can take a picture in front of if, again, you're unlike Laura and like taking pictures. But uh, again, it starts at 8 o'clock this evening. Still tickets available at the door. VIP upstairs has a red carpet, but everybody gets complimentary champagne at midnight. Maybe even you find someone to give a New Year's kiss to, but that's not included. I, some, somebody asked, not me. I asked for a friend. They, that's not happening. Anyway, we're going to send it back to you guys right now. Wow, thank you for clarifying that last yeah. point there, Brett. Brett Appreciate has a that. lot of jokes tonight. He does. Wow. By the way, that Instagram, Brett, do you know my Instagram handle <laughs> yeah. by any chance? I'm curious since you're clearly looking at all my pictures lately. He's a fan. No, I did. I was told that you don't post oh. many. I have no idea. Secondhand information. It was Laura Queso TV. If you, um, <laughs> you know, if you have any questions, tag her. <laughs> yeah, tag me. Right, take a selfie and tag me because I saw that photo booth. I did like that. It looks like a good celebration. Brett Hall, thank you so much tonight. You, you could are come very over. There's still tickets us. available. Okay, very good, very good, Brett. Thanks again. Oh, oh only for you too. <laughs> I can't with him tonight. Oh man.